Listen, some dudes just want to straight up smell edible. When it comes to the gourmand space, I think the main reason any guy would want to smell like sweet edible arrangements is because they want some shorty or somebody to nibble on them, right? <laughs> So when I went to Scent Explorer and I experienced sweet kisses, I was like, it doesn't get any more diabetic and gourmandy than this. This is straight caramel, frothy, milky, sweet, a full-blown dessert experience of confectionery diabetes. And of course, when I say I like a fragrance, Dua goes ahead and makes their own rendition of it. And we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two fragrances to see if they're even remotely close. Cause to get this kind of sweetness, it's gonna be type difficult. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out caramelized hot milk. Pause. You judging me, bruh? <laughs> Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C3 Utrebitre Egg. This was truly my first experience with the house of Lorenzo Pastagliali, whatever it is. And it's a great scent, but it's very sweet, very candied like. Best rendition of a frothy, milky cafe latte with a ton of caramel. This is like the secret menu at Starbucks when you add extra crumble, get it in a fucking Trenti cup with a little dome cap on it and a super thick straw so you can suck up all the bits that you requested in your six. $60 coffee. In this fragrance, it's straight up milky, caramel, coffee, vanilla, chunks of sweetness, nutty, chocolatey. It smells delicious. It's a frap in a bottle. So Dua sent me this version. They were like, yo, you like that joint. We tried to interpret it with our own little twist and we want to know what you think. So shout out to Dua for sponsoring today's video and sending this fragrance. I did not request this. This was sent over to me to check out if it's close to the original counterpart. So I was like, let's just do it on camera. So their version is called Caramelized Hot Milk, which I think is a very stupid name for a fragrance, but very accurate depiction of what this potentially is. So let me get a couple of test strips because we don't want to make this long Long, drawn out and boring. We want to know if the shit smells like a straight up hot caramel dessert. So first we're going to spray sugar kisses and just get the full experience. This is a great atomizer on this fragrance. It's a fun, I mean, it has like the full aeration sound effect of it, but most fragrances don't really have. It's fucking delicious. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but a frap, is that even considered coffee? This is a pure dessert. This is diabetic coma in a bottle. This is, I need to take a shot to control my blood sugar because the sweetness in here is remarkable. You can literally taste the caramel. You can taste the foam. You can smell the toffee chunks. You can smell the nuttiness. It is a full blown latte frap experience. So can do a really pull that off? They can do gourmand and I mean, they just, dissected and reformulated in their own space. I don't know if you could really pull that off, but I'm gonna wait to find out. I mean, it's pretty freaking close. I mean, it's very dessertish, chocolatey, caramel, not as rich as the Lorenzo Pasteliaghi, but it's getting there, but it's not 100% one-to-one, but a very close interpretation. They hit all the points that you want from the fragrance, which is usually kind of their space. They got the milky aspect. They didn't get the, the caramel and the sugary denseness of it. They weren't able to get one-to-one, -one, but it's like a watered down version of that full-blooded ultra sweet frap. This is like the diabetic version. This is the toned down version of this over rocket of sweetness. Now what can potentially happen as a lot of dual fragrances tend to happen is that this needs a maceration period, leave it in the shelf and it will get deeper, richer, bolder. But right now I have to base it off of right now. Actually the formulation scent breakdown, like how it smells from opening to mid, it's pretty much almost spot on. The original is a little bit nuttier. This one has elements of freshness. You get that whipped cream coffee aspect. You get both of the caramel. I think on the dual one, you get more of that heliotrope essence because there's a little bit of a floral component there that kind of helps enhance the sweetness, but also enhance the freshness as well. The Sweet Kisses one is just very, 
very, very rich. And the dual one is like in that 70-ish percent space as far as inspired by. I don't get too much of the nuttiness off the dual one the more that it dries down, but the nuttiness still stays on the original Sweet Kisses. The dual one is providing a lot of the same nuance, but with a fresher element. So if this was sampled by you, right, and you think that it's overly sweet, especially for a dude, this would be the route you go with because it has a fresher component. It still has all those gourmand essences, but still light florals to help offset the diabetic coma. In all actuality, I'm comfortable in that 70% space as far as inspiration. As previously mentioned, they did manage to get that note breakdown pretty accordingly, but it's just a little bit fresher, but maceration truly is going to be the determining factor on this, and that's gonna need a couple of weeks at least sitting on the shelf and a possible revisit to see if it gets any closer or if it just lives in that space. Is it a good fragrance? Absolutely. I mean, Sweet Kisses is a delicious fragrance, so this is mirroring it pretty much 70% wise. So yes, it's definitely a ball spray. It's a gourmand's dream. But if you don't like sweet fragrances or gourmandy frappe type scents throw you off and that's not your thing, completely stay away from this joint because you're just gonna be like, yo, I smell like a straight up shorty or a bunch of candles in a massage parlor where I'm getting no happy ending. Ball spray. <sighs> sweet from a distance, but still has freshness. Yeah, still has much more freshness. And this one does seem a little bit stronger to my nose and that's just keeping it all the way a thousand. This probably needs more maceration time, but this one is still a beast as far as richness, sweetness, and performance. And this one just tails behind it closely and far enough in price point for you to at least try out to see if even the original is worth your cup. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Dua for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in a ultra gourmand combination. And trust me, it is super sweet. So test the quarter, smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>